Jared Poland photo.com and this is your photo news fix. This fix is brought to you by Storyblocks and their massive inventory of studio quality stock footage. If you've ever been in need of a quick video clip for B-roll, After Effects templates, or motion backgrounds, Storyblocks has you covered. Now we've used B-roll from Storyblocks extensively over the past five years. Whether it's a couple walking in Central Park that we didn't have time to capture on our own, or a simple clip that is used as a transition, Storyblocks has been there for us with royalty-free clips, audio, and graphics, and they can be there for you too. To sign up for Storyblocks, head on over to storyblocks.com slash fro. First up, Canon has broken out the pew 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 fingers with a press release titled, You Asked, Canon Delivers. So what exactly did Canon deliver? Is it the 14 to 24 F2 or maybe a pro mirrorless body? No. It's, it's, it's the announcement of the Canon EOS webcam utility beta software for Mac. Yes, a month or two ago, Canon announced the ability to turn just about any Canon DSLR mirrorless camera or even some point and shoot cameras into a webcam with no capture card needed, just a USB cable. At the time, it was only available for Windows, but now it's officially ready to go for Mac, at least in its beta form. Beta? Look, when someone calls something beta, they do so just in case there's an issue and can say, but we told you it's in beta. No, I haven't tried this out as I have a cam link that I use with my EOS R to make it a webcam. But if your camera is on the list and you want to turn it into a webcam simply by using a USB cable, then be sure to download this free software from Canon. But don't forget, it's still in beta. Damn. Beta. Next up, could Sony Alpha rumors have actually gotten something right? No. According to Nakashita, who seems to get most things right, Sony has officially registered the SEL1224GM model number that might mean an announcement will follow soon. Now, a few months back, there were rumors that Sony was readying a 12 to 24 F2.8 that might have a hefty price tag of $4,000. Now, that price might scare some of you, but it does doesn't scare me because I got that Sony money truck that backs up to the factory once a week. Oh, wh what's that sound? Oh, it sounds like the Sony money truck is right on time. Let's see how much I got this week. Thanks. Wait, what's this? Uh, it's a note from DaVita at Sony PR. Ahem, dear Fro, after what you said about the ZV-1 last week, the Sony truck will no longer be stopping at the Fro factory. Therefore, go f yourself. Davida. What's with these PR people lately? They just are so angry. I'm not angry. So here's what I think about this lens. One, I hope this lens is real because I always want to go wider with my 2.8. And two, I hope it doesn't weigh four pounds because the weight might not be worth it versus the Sigma 14 to 24 2.8 that's been super solid for me when I'm on the road actually shooting pictures, which I actually haven't done in the last three months because nobody's been on the road at all. So do you think this lens is real? And if so, how much would you be willing to pay for it? And finally, Nikon, fresh off of laying off 700 workers in Thailand and Laos, have announced new rebates in the United States that will run through June 28th. Wait, what about Canada? Canada. Oh great, now here come the comments. Why do you hate Canada? I don't, I wanna be Canadian, okay? There, I said it. Eh? If you've been waiting to pick up some new Nikon gear at a discount, now would be a good time. The Z50, which is my favorite crop sensor camera of all of them on the market, is currently on sale for $899 with a 16 to 50 kit lens. Basically, it's $99 more than the ZV1 vlogging camera from Sony, or for $1,099, you can pick up the two lens kit with the 16 to 50 and 50 to 250 millimeter Z lens. The Nikon Z6, which we're filming on right now, by the way, can be yours for $15.99, which is $400 off. Now, you'd be hard pressed to find a better deal for a full frame camera that's extremely capable as a stills camera and even more capable as a video camera. The Z6 is a fantastic camera any way you slice it. And before anyone yells at me and says, but Jared, you hate the Z6. Oh, do I now? Is that why we have six of them here at the factory for filming? Six! Uh, uh, oh, snap. Th this next one's definitely gonna piss some people off. Maybe I shouldn't do it. 
Just do it! All right, fine, I'll do it. The Nikon D780 body only is on sale for $300 off, making it just shy of $2,000 at $1,999.95. Now, don't get me wrong, it's an amazing DSLR, but if you go with it, you're basically choosing to pay more for yesterday's tech. Oh, but Jared, more DSLRs are sold than mirrorless cameras right now. Cool. More gas-powered cars are sold over electric cars right now as well. Now, the people bitching that they don't want mirrorless or don't like mirrorless cameras are the same people who haven't actually given it a try or are the same people who said, I will never go digital. Film is the only way. But hey, you're free to spend more for yesterday's tech if you want, no one's stopping you. On top of that, F to Z adapters are on sale, Z lenses are on sale, and so are countless other DSLRs. So if you'd like to save money on new Nikon gear, head on over to alanscamera.com slash fro and help support a mom and pop store. And there you have it, that's your photo news fix this time around to check out the last fix, go ahead and click on the screen right here. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And that's where I'm gonna leave it. Jared Poland, Photo.com. See ya.